Hello everyone and welcome to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? That's good to hear. Let's start off with our good morning song together. We're going to stretch our arms out like airplane wings, fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle, big stretch out in front. Now take that circle up over your head. We'll stretch on this side, over to the other side, one last stretch, and now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, friends. Welcome to Circle Time. I hope you're having a great day so far. Before we move on to the calendar and weather chart, we have to do three things. Number one, turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. So you look for your thinking hat. Hmm, my thinking hat is over here. I'm going to put it on top of my head. And today my thinking hat has a zipper underneath my chin. So I'm going to zip it up. And the last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Can you show me how to do that? If you're right, boom, 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 boom. Let me grab my pointing stick and let's go over the date together. Friends, yesterday we started a brand new month. It's not October anymore. Do you remember what the new month is called? November. And today is November 2nd. Yesterday was the first day of November, and today is the second day of November. November 2nd. And the year is 2021, but you can also say 2021. I don't think we have very much counting to do today, so that means that we don't need to warm up our counting fingers but let's see how many days we've had so far in the month of November. You have your counting finger, and I have my counting stick, and let's count together. One, two. That's it, friends. We've only had two days so far in the month of November. If you keep up your two fingers like this, but you add five more fingers, now we have seven fingers and we're ready to sing the Day of the Week song. If you know the words, sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over. So listen for the sound and you can tell me what the day is. Yesterday was M. Monday, the first day of the weekday. That means that today is T. Tuesday. And tomorrow will be W. Wednesday. Let's sing today's Tuesday together, and then we can go over the season. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, today is Tuesday, all day long. Let's go over the season together. What's one way that you can say the season? Autumn. That's right. The other way is fall. The season is fall or autumn. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song together before we share what we see outside. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Today is chilly and mostly cloudy with a little bit of sunshine where I live. And what's the weather like where you live, friends? 
Thanks for sharing with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Yesterday, we talked about this new capital letter. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? Qu. And what letter is this? Q. This is an uppercase or capital Q. Q says qu. It's time to guess what I have today. It's not inside of the letter box, but you'll see why in just a few minutes. It's something that starts with the letter qu, Q. I'll give you a few hints, and if you think you know what it is, you can take a guess. This word has a similar meaning to silence, or when something is not very loud. Hmm, what could it be? Quiet. Quiet starts with the letter qu, Q, and it's when something is not very loud. This is how you write an uppercase, qu, Q. One more time. Here's the number of the week. This double digit number is the number 23. Can you show me with your fingers what number you write first? Two. After you write the number two, you write this number. Can you show me with your fingers? Three. Two, three. Twenty-three. Let's count to the number 23 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count to the number 23 using the large bead frame. 10, 20, 21, 22, 23. Two tens, three units, 23. We have one more thing to count today inside the number box. I have a yellow calendula flower and it has a bunch of yellow petals around the outside. Let's count 23 of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and one more makes 23. 23 petals. And it looks like we only counted half of them, 23. Yesterday, I showed you how to say story in sign language. Let's do it together. Story. Yesterday, we started our storytelling unit and began with the boy who cried wolf. But as I told you the story, there were no pictures on pages to look at. Instead, the pictures were in your mind as you used your imagination. As I tell you a story today, listen to the words and notice what pictures you see in your mind. Today's story is called The Proud Rose. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful pink flower growing in a garden. The flower was very proud of her beauty and bright colors, but she was not very happy growing next to such a prickly cactus. Each day, the flower would complain about how unhappy she was to be growing next to such a prickly cactus. The other plants in the garden would remind the flower to be kind to the cactus, but the flower wouldn't listen. That summer, there was a drought and not enough rain. The pink flower slowly began to wilt. She looked over and saw that an owl had flown in and was taking a drink of water from the cactus. 
the flower perked up a little bit and asked the cactus if he would share the water with her. And the cactus agreed. After that, the cactus and the flower quickly became friends and they spent the rest of the summer enjoying each other's company side by side. The end. So the lesson from that short story is to always stay open-minded and welcoming to others. Are you ready to see today's work? Let's go. For today's work, you will need some clay or Play-Doh, toothpicks, older learners will need a pair of dice, and younger learner learners can stick to a single die like I have right here. I took my Play-Doh and I made a small model cactus right here, but it seems to be missing its thorns. I'm going to use the toothpicks as thorns, which I'll add to the cactus. But first, I need to know exactly how many thorns to add. So first, I'm going to roll the die. One, two, three. So that means that I'm going to add three thorns to my cactus. One, two, three. And I'll stick them into the cactus like this. Let's roll the die again. This time I have one, two. So I'm going to add two more thorns to the cactus. One, two. And like I said, my older learners can use a set of dice, so two die, and you can add both of them together to see how many thorns you need to add to your cactus. I'm going to roll the die one more time, and this time I rolled one. So I'm going to add one more thorn to my cactus. Let's get back to circle time. Welcome back to circle time, friends. When you were listening to the story today, what color was the rose inside of your head? Was it yellow or pink? Maybe red. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a big thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. I'm now offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions as well as curriculum consultations, so feel free to reach out for more information. It's time to sing our goodbye song, so let's wave like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you tomorrow.